Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we'll be creating a really simple yet effective outer design uh, using Photoshop and After Effects. Just a disclaimer, you do need an After Effects plugin called Saber, but don't worry, it's free and really easy to install. I'll leave the link to it in the description below. So let's start off in Photoshop by creating a new document. Make it 1920 by 1080 and have the resolution on 72 and have the background color on black. Then you want to choose your skin that you would like to use. You can either visit fnbr.co or find a good Fortnite wallpaper. For this video I'm going to choose this wallpaper, so copy it and paste it back into Photoshop. And I want to use this skin, so just use the pen tool to cut it out. So I just cut it out, uh, you can hide the layer. And for the background, press Ctrl and U and drag down the saturation to make it black and white. So press Ctrl and T and make the character a lot bigger. Create a new layer under it and go to the polygonal lasso tool. Create a shape just like this. I'm gonna use a blue color, you can use control and back paste to fill it in. Make a new layer over your blue shape and make it a clipping mask. Then go to the gradient tool and choose the black and white preset. From the middle of the character just drag up and make the blending mode soft light. Over it create a new layer, go to the brush tool Make it a little bit bigger and just one stroke and make it hard light. Create a new layer over your background. Go to the gradient tool again. Let's make a very dark blue gradient. Let's go choose a dark blue color and then a little bit a bit little bit lighter one. And just drag out. Open the wallpaper. I'm just gonna drag it over the blue shape to around here and make it soft light. Now you can see this really hard edge so I'm just gonna use the um, eraser tool to softly erase it. Just like that. You could just finish here and leave it as it is, uh, but you can also animate it, so that's what I'm gonna do now. So let's begin with exporting every layer. Then I'm going to export the shape. Then export the um, Fortnite wallpaper. Then the light. And finally, the character. In After Effects, create a new composition, uh, 1920 by 1080, uh, for the frame rate at 30, and the duration at 10 seconds. Uh, then export your files. So first, uh, drag down the background to the composition, uh, then the shape. The wallpaper, uh, the light, and the skin. So go to our wallpaper and make the make it soft light. Okay, so let's start off by animating our character. So hide every layer except the character. Okay, so click down, uh, go to transform, and go to zero seconds and create a keyframe on position and slide the character to the left so you can't see it anymore go to around one and a half second and drag on a slider to make it visible again highlight both keyframes and press F9 to ease this go to the graph editor and make sure you have edit speed graph and create a shape just like this so drag both these inwards and let's see how it looks 
okay, so it's pretty slow, so just drag the second keyframe towards the first. So have it like on one second. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so now you can show our background, the shape and the wallpaper. Go to the parent and link tool and drag the wallpaper to the shape. Uh, go to the shape layer and press P to bring up the position. You go to around here where you can see a little bit of the character and make a keyframe and drag it so you don't see it anymore. From there and go to just when the character finishes uh, its animation and drag it back again. Highlight both and easy ease, press F9, go to graph editor and do the same thing. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so a little bit fast so you can separate both keyframes a little bit. Go back to the graph editor and make sure you have a smooth finish. So drag the right more inwards. Perfect. Okay, so when the animation is finished, uh, just a few, few frames afterwards, um, we can show our light layer. Go to transform and opacity, make a keyframe and drag it to 0%, go to 2.5 seconds and 100%, let's see how it looks, nice, uh, you can highlight both and F9 and just drag them a little bit inwards. Perfect. Okay, so now let's add the particles. So right click and create a new solid and make it black. And have it above the skin. Go to effects and presets and search up CC particle world. And drag it to the black solid. Then go to effects and controls, make the longevity uh, around three, 350, go to particle and make the particle line faded sphere, make the birth size to 0 0.07. Make the death size uh, 0.14. Uh, okay, so the birth color, uh, make it a uh, light blue and a darker blue. Go to physics and make the gravity minus. 0.10 Let's see how it looks Okay, so zoom out uh, so press alt and scroll down and basically we want to Make it wide Kind of long and drag it Down to the to the bottom left corner and make it the mode add okay so scroll in see how it looks so now you have some real nice um, particles okay so if you think there is too many particles you can lower the birth rate to maybe one
Okay, so when you're happy with the particles, let's animate the character a little bit more. So, drop down, and after the animation finish, uh, let's create a keyframe for the anchor point. And drag down the right side. So, a little bit down. A few seconds after. A little bit up again. And keep repeating the same pattern. Highlight every keyframe and press F9 to ease it. So let's see how it looks. Okay, that looks really nice. We can separate them a little bit more to slow down the animation. Okay, let's see how it looks. Okay, that looks really good. Okay, so because this is an outro, we, may, we maybe want to promote our channel and some other videos of ours. So in the description, you will find this template. Just drag it down to our co composition and uh, we will make animate this. Okay, so for this part, you do need a free plugin called Saber. Uh, I'll leave it in the description below. So let's create a new black solid. Move it over our template and make it the mode add. Zoom in so we can see our uh, template better. Go to our rectangle tool and mimic the shape of the rectangle. Just like that. Go to effects and presets and search up saber and drag it to our black solid. Let's zoom out. So right now this is just one line, but we wanted to uh, fit our rectangle. So go to customize core and make the core type layer masks. Then go to presets and make it haze. We can hide our template and you find a really nice effect you see here. Then just make the glow intensity around 50%. Make the glow spread 0.09. Make the glow bias 0.66. Let's see how it looks. Okay, it looks really good. Okay, so now let's animate uh, the offset. So go to effects, saber, and go to customize core. And right when the animation finishes, around here, uh, make a keyframe for start offset. And make it 100%. Go to Around a second later and drag it to 0%. Highlight both and F9 to ease. So let's see how it looks. And now we want to do the same thing for the circle where channel will be. So make a new black solid. Uh, make it add. Go to our uh, ellipse tool, zoom in so we see a little bit better. Press shift and make a circle. Just position it. Can and drag on these points to drag in. It fits the template. Just 
just like that. Go to effects and presets and drag the silver plugin to our new solid. Go to customize core again and make the core type layer masks. And make the preset case. Then just mess around with these settings, make the glow intensity on 50%, the glow spread 0.09, and make the color bias a little bit more. Then go down to effects, saber, customize core, and just animate the offset again. So when the rectangle starts around here, create a keyframe for a start offset, make it 100%. Let's see if we have another finish. So around here, drag it to 0% again, highlight both, and F9 to ECs. So let's see how it looks. Okay, that looks really awesome. Okay, so when you're done, you want to export it. So go to File, Export, and add to Adobe Media Encoder. Uh, that will open the Adobe Media Encoder. So click here. That will open up another window and uh, make the format uh, H.264. That's like basically MP4 uh, and change it to Ultra. Save and um, be sure you click this box, then OK, then let's export it. So now you get a really awesome, simple, and clean Ultra. Uh, you could add your own music or anything you like. Be creative and thank you for watching. Bye.